Shalom and thank you for joining us for another series and a new episode at The Living Supernaturally. Through the last couple of days, we have been looking at the one another commands. We've picked up a few important ones and we hope that this would be a blessing to you. Today's series is on live in harmony with one another. Let's read from scripture in Romans chapter 12 verse 16. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. What does it mean to live in harmony? In some versions you would see to be of the same mind towards one another. It's like playing in an orchestra where all harmonize one with another. So what are they required to do? They adjust their own pitch, not to perfectly match with one another, but to be compatible and pleasant with one another. Now Paul is not instructing all of us to be alike in our behaviors and in our opinions. We can't be, we're all different people, uniquely made. But he's commanding the believers to adjust to each other in a way that produces that pleasantness and that order. And what does this require? It requires a mutual submission, a willingness to make choices that will allow everyone to get along with one another. And to live in harmony requires a lord of humility. So it's not surprising that Paul, in the verse after that, he gives his instruction and he says, do not be haughty, do not be arrogant and, and stuck up. That's what he means to say. There is no place where we can be snobbish or we can, we can be exclusive or, or be very high-handed in the way that we live with one another. He me makes it really clear that what he means with a command and he says, associate with the lowly, associate with those who are below, who are lower in rank. In other words, it says, don't think of yourselves as being too good to hang out socially with, with, with others. Paul uses some very strong instructions and says also not to be conceited, meaning don't think too much of yourself or be wise in your own eyes. So to live in harmony, it means to associate with anyone and with everyone. As believers, we should not be conceited or overestimate ourselves. We should not be exclusive and snobbish and we should always be willing to include and carry and care for those around us. Jesus commanded this in his uh, in, in the word, it said, if anyone wants to be first, he must be the very last and the servant of all. This is another secret of our relationships, to be at peace, to be of the same mind, to live in harmony with one another. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we ask as you have commanded that we will live in the same mind as one another, we will live in harmony with one another. Lord, may we not overestimate ourselves. May, may we not think of ourselves as exclusive, but may we join with one another, adjust with one another, love one another and live in peace because there is your dwelling place. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.